What does it mean to be official? No, not like with your seventh grade girlfriend. Well, it's something formally recognized, it's authorized, or at least established in some formal capacity. There's official documents, statements, policies or rules, events or ceremonies, or records. And when they're official, they carry a sense of legitimacy, approval and endorsement, whether from an authority or from people in general. In other words, something official is something you can respect and trust. And if you want your business to join that official club, you're gonna have to register it. And we're gonna show you how to do it for free. This is stupid. But can you really? No, you can't. Sorry. Let's put this myth to rest. As one of my favorite comedians said, nothing is free. You gotta pay to be in society. First, you start with homework. I'm Jake from Business Name Generator. Let's do a little homework together and learn how to register a business name and find out why it's never really free. So what does it mean to register a business name? Well, it's a legal process to acquire legal recognition of your business. This not only legitimizes your business, but ensures that your name is unique and protected in your region. Why should you register your business? Well, this may seem obvious by now, but here's a rundown. It establishes legal ownership of your business. Registration protects your name against duplication. It enhances your brand's credibility, and it's essential for legal and financial processes. And if you haven't found your business name just yet, use our AI-powered business name generator. Just type in up to six keywords and our generator will come up with thousands of name ideas, help you secure the domain and design a professional logo. And now the real work begins. First, you need to check and see if your business name is available. And it just so happens that we have a video that breaks down each step in detail. We added the same links to resources and databases from all over the world in the description below. But for now, here's a quick checklist. Google search, social media search, trademark search, business registry search, and DBA search. Not familiar with DBAs? Pay attention to the next section because this is the information you need to know. In general, when you register a business name, you'll choose between three categories, each with its own unique benefits and implications. First is a DBA or doing business as. This is ideal for sole proprietors who want to do business under a name that's not their own. For example, you would fill out a business form as John or Jane Doe doing business as business furniture liquidators. It's simpler, but it offers less legal protection. And often, this is the classification marketed as a free option. It's not. Keep watching to find out why. Next up is entity registration, like an LLC or corporation. This registration is more complex, but it offers liability protection and tax benefits. And last are trademarks. They offer the broadest protection and protect your name at a national level. They're essential if you want to do business across state lines or ensure exclusive rights to your name. Let's get down to business. The business registration process can vary by location and business structure. Speaking of which, you first need to determine your business structure. This could be a sole proprietorship, a partnership, an LLC, or a corporation. Each has its own legal and tax implications, so we strongly advise you work with a lawyer or an accountant before making your decision. Next, you need to file the necessary paperwork. For DBAs, you can file with your county clerk or your state government. But be aware of the laws within your state for doing business under this entity. There's a lot of outdated or even blatantly false information floating around on the web. This is why it's important to work with a lawyer. For entities, you'll need to submit formation documents like Articles of Incorporation or Articles of Organization to the state where you plan to do business. Typically, you'll submit to the Secretary of State's office, but you could need to submit documents to the county clerk where you plan to do business as well. Last, trademark applications go to the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Each of these entities come with fees that vary by state and business structure. For instance, LLCs usually have higher filing fees than DBAs, and some states require that you publish your business name in a local newspaper. This is often the case with DBAs. Here's the reality. While the act of registering your business might be low cost or even free in some places, there are always associated costs. For example, DBA filing fees can range anywhere from $10 to $100 based on your location. And if you're going for an LLC or corporation, expect higher fees. 
And for trademarks, there's a whole different fee structure that goes up to several hundred dollars. And don't forget potential costs for legal advice and publication fees in some states. And for the long term, you should factor in the cost of maintaining your registration. And so while free sounds appealing, you're going to need to budget for some additional expenses here. Once submitted, you just need to wait for approval. But you're an entrepreneur, so we're pretty sure you won't just be sitting around. Use this time to start planning your brand strategy. Remember, a great business name is a foundation for a solid brand identity. Registering a business name is straightforward if you follow these steps. It's the first big leap in your entrepreneurial journey, so make it count. Thanks for watching. If this guide was helpful, give us a like and share it with your fellow entrepreneurs. And if you got any questions or topic suggestions, drop them in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Bye.